Sit on your heels. Widen the knees apart and stretch your arms forward on the floor with your chest reaching down. Uthita Balasan, the extended child pose. Your big toes are together. Hold here and breathe deeply. Feel the shoulders and the chest opening with each inhalation. And with each exhalation, allow the hips to sink down deeper onto the heels. Notice that you inhale more breath when the chest is wide open. The wider your knees, the deeper it will work into the hips. Lengthen upward through the spine and on an exhalation, slide the hands more away to fold the upper body more forward. Extend from the hips to the armpits and then lengthen from the armpits to the fingertips. Your shoulders are away from the ears and back of the neck is long with forehead resting down. Walk the hands as far to the right as possible and take three deep breaths here. Feel the left armpit and the left ribcage open nice and wide. Now walk the hands to the left and feel the right armpit stretch and open. Take two deep breaths here. Come back to the center. Now lift the head up and slide the right arm from under the body to the left side with the right palm facing up and the right cheek resting down. Breathe here. Releasing the posture, now for the other side, get the left arm from under the body to the right. Place the left cheek on the mat and breathe. Relax your body and feel the changes taking place. Enjoy the work you're doing on the hips, hip joint, pelvis, thighs, spine, shoulders and the neck. It increases the flexibility of hip joint and pelvis. Come back. Lift the hips up and walk the hands forward into Anahata Asana, the puppy pose. Stretch more forward with your hands and push the hip more towards the heels. Take three deep breaths. Walk the hands back and tuck the toes in, coming up into the downward facing dog, Adho Mukh Shwanasan. Your feet are hip width apart, with legs straight and strong. Press the palms evenly into the floor and move your chest closer towards your thighs. Move your hip back and up away from the wrists, lengthening the spine. Now focus on opening the back of the legs. Press down through the heels and try to straighten the knees without locking them. If the soles of the feet come fully to the floor, step your feet farther back to challenge yourself. Press the outer edges, the inner edges of the feet down. Move the upper arms away from the ears. Tuck your chin in and look towards the navel. Next in breath, step the right foot forward left foot forward into the forward bend halfway exhale fold onto the legs with knees soft on the inhalation sweep your arms up into tadasan and again on the exhalation fold forward now look up step back into the plank kumbhak asana hold here for two breaths tuck your tailbone under push back through your heels Engage the core, tuck it in. Now drop down your knees, bend the elbows and lower your chest down halfway. Lift your body up into the upward facing dog. Relax the top of your feet, lift the knees up to support your back into the upward facing dog or the Urdh Mukh Shwanasan. Come back to the downward dog. Inhale, reach with your right leg up as high as possible and on the exhalation, bend the right knee to the chest. Once again, lift the right leg up to the ceiling as you inhale and on the exhalation, bend the right knee towards the chest. Open the right foot to the left side in the sleeping swan pose. 
It is the preparatory pose for the Ek Pad Raj Kapotasan. Don't lean on the right side. Keep the body parallel to the mat. You may also fist your hands under the forehead. With regular practice, you may be able to move the right foot farther away from the body. Breathe here. Relax the body. Find your way to the downward dog again. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the ceiling. And exhale, bend the left knee down to the chest. Again, inhale, raise the left leg up to the ceiling. And exhale, bend the left knee to the chest. Open the left leg to the right side and stretch into the posture for a few breaths. Feel the gentle opening of the hips and external rotation of the front hip. Feel the stretch in the quadriceps and hip flexors of the back leg. Now come back into the downward facing dog to relax into Balasan with arms extended forward. Take two breaths here and relax the body. Tuck the toes in, lift yourself up into the Adho Mukshwanasan. Step the right foot forward, drop the left knee down, relax the left toes away. Place your hands loosely on the right thigh and try sinking down with your pelvis with the spine straight. Now inhale, interlock your hands up, stretch up and exhale, bend down to the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. And on the exhalation, bend to the left side. Inhale, come back up to the center. Release your arms. Take a breath. Relax your body. Again, inhale. Stretch your arms up. And exhale to arch back into the Anjane Asan, the crescent moon. Try keeping the arms in line with the head. Deeper you sink down, more the spine can arch. Take two deep breaths. Slowly come up and stretch the right heel forward. Inhale and as you exhale, stretch forward on the right leg, releasing all the tension from the right side. Now draw the right foot back, bend the left knee and hold the left ankle with your right hand. Twist gently. Feel a mild quad stretch don't overdo with the body just find your edge and enjoy the posture come back into the downward facing dog inhale bring the left foot forward into the lunge place the hands on the left thigh and sink down towards the mat inhale interlock your hands up and as you exhale bend to the right side Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, come up. Release your arms. Take a deep, relaxing breath. Once again, inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, arch back into the Anjane Asan. Hold for two deep breaths. Engage your lower abs. Keep the shoulders soft. Face soft. Now gently release the posture. Stretch the left heel forward and on the exhalation, stretch forward on the left leg. Draw the left foot back, bend the right knee, hold the right ankle with your left hand and twist gently. Breathe. Release and find your way to the downward facing dog. Next in breath, step the right foot outside the right hand and the left foot outside the left hand. Get the hands to the chest into the prayer position. Try to push your knees away from each other by pushing the elbows or upper arms against the knees or thighs. Relax the shoulders down. Lengthen your spine. Don't lean forward. Close your eyes and breathe here. Gently releasing. Place the hands forward. Slowly come up into the forward fold with soft knees. 
Release any tension that you may feel in the neck and the back. Slowly sit down and lie down on your back for the Halasana Plow Pose. Your legs are together, arms close to the body. Inhale, lift the legs up, buttocks up. Take the legs all the way up over the head and support your back. Try to straighten the spine and move the shoulders away from the ears and shoulder blades together. Push the knees away from the forehead. Gently reach with your toes down to the floor and try lifting your tailbone towards the ceiling. If you're comfortable, you may release the support from your back. Relax into the posture for five more deep breaths. This asana rejuvenates the entire nervous system, tones the abdominal organs, frees the lower back from tension, Now, support your back and lift up into the shoulder stand Sarvangasana. Relax your legs, the face and the whole body. As the name suggests, it works on the entire body from toes to the head. Try bringing your elbows closer. Walk your hands towards the shoulders and push your hips forward, extending up through the inner legs. Enjoy the breath here, hold the posture. To release the posture, get the legs 45 degrees over the head. Place the palms down using the palms as brakes, keeping the head on the mat Gently roll out one vertebra at a time. Roll the neck side to side. Now giving a counter stretch to the spine, Matsyasan the fish. Bring the arms under the body with your hands under the buttocks. Draw the shoulder blades together and elbows more closer. Inhale, lift the head up, chest up, look to the toes. And as you exhale, tilt the head back, placing the crown of the head very gently down on the mat. Lift up out of your lower back. Keep opening the chest wider. Push the breastbone up to increase the arch in your back. Breathe deep, slow and long into the open chest. Press the inner legs together. This asana releases the tension from the upper back, strengthens the cervical spine and reduces the asthmatic conditions. To release the posture, release the head down. Release the arms, roll the wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. Move the head gently side to side. Take one deep relaxing breath in Shavasana. Bend the knees for the Setu Bandhasana. Place the feet hip distance apart, heels in line with the sitting bones, toes pointing forward, arms close to the body. Inhale a deep breath, press strongly into the feet and lift your hips up. You may interlock the hands and lift the hips higher up. Tuck the chin in towards the chest, your neck is long on the mat. Bring your knees closer without actually moving your feet. Breathe. This back bend strengthens and opens the chest, hips, lumbar spine and front of the thighs. It invigorates the entire nervous system. To release, slowly exhale out and come down. Hug both the knees to the chest tightly. Inhale and exhale. Lift your head up, chest up into the Pavan Muktasan. Feel the pressure on your abdomen. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders and keep the lower back nicely pressing down. It benefits all the abdominal organs improves digestion slowly release the posture come down inhale stretch the legs up and exhale with control bring the legs all the way down to the floor roll the neck side to side now bend the knees and join the soles together for the supt badakon asana move the feet to the front edge of the mat relax your arms in shavasan Relax the shoulders down and focus on deep breathing. With every inhalation, feel the energy moving into the body. 
and with every exhalation push the spine more down and soften the inner thighs take three more deep breaths here now stretch your arms in line with the shoulders get the left knee on top of the right knee turn the head to the left stay here and breathe relax the shoulders down relax your knees down and feel the spinal twist in the body come back to the center now drop the right knee on top of the left knee and turn the head to the right side stay there and breathe you're also working on the abdominal organs come back to the center draw the legs a little up towards the body into the supta baddha konasan your arms relaxing in shavasana hold here for three deep breaths relax your body completely allow the spine and the inner thighs to relax now stretch your arms in line with the shoulders drop the right knee on top of the left turn the head to the right and breathe here come back to the center now to the other side breathe back to the center hug the knees tightly release the body in shavasana the final relaxation or the corpse pose your arms and legs comfortably apart soften the shoulders push them away from the ears neck is long with chin tucked into the chest relax all your facial muscles soften the features in the face deepen the breath relax the breath breathe very softly feel the spine sinking down simply let go in the mind and the body relax relax relax